welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good weekend. Um, well, right now it's the weekend for me. It's a long weekend, but when I post this, it probably won't be anymore. But regardless, I hope you're all having a good day at least. And uh, today I thought I would do a work in progress video for you. This is my first Starman Art Club diamond painting I am doing. And uh, I've been working hard on it, and I'm really even enjoying it. And I've wanted to do a work in progress on it because I. I thought I'd try it. I've seen other people do it and it looks like it's good, so I thought I'd try doing a work in progress video for you guys today. So I'm just going to get my different colors out here that I have. And I'm going to put the little cylinders beside so I don't get colors mixed up later. Because I could see myself doing that way too easily, unfortunately. But yeah. There we go. Alright. Give them all a little bit of a shake. Oopsies. I usually don't use multiple trays, but I also thought I'd give that a shot. I've heard people say they like using and having multiple trays so they don't have to constantly switch out their colors and stuff like that. So I thought I'd give it a shot today while doing this video. Um, I am using a three placer. I use I'm not a huge fan of the placer. I actually just started using my placer just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, for the longest time, I just used the checkerboard technique when I did bigger areas. Um, but I decided to give my placer a shot again just for a couple of weeks ago, like I said, and um, I have actually been enjoying it. I do not like the bigger placers, though, really. Uh, the three placer I really like. I feel like I'm having a lot of control in, over it and it's not too crazy, especially when it comes to these square drills. But anything bigger than that, I find it's not as easy to get the, get the drills into the placer and place nicely. So, uh, and I do use a placer, I only use a three placer. There we go. So yes, um, I've been really enjoying doing this diamond art club diamond painting. Um, the drills are really good quality, uh, all uniform, which is really nice. Uh, the canvas is really good. Um, because it's such a hard can, uh, such a large canvas, I have a hard time working on it. Because generally, I either work from bed or I work from the couch. Because I just find it's more comfortable for me. And so, it, at first, I had, uh, I have rolled, as you can see, I could have this rolled up right now. But at the start, I didn't, and um, actually was I uh, just browsing on Facebook just the other day, actually, and I know someone had done that, and I was like, well, that's really cool, and so I tried it out, and yeah, it makes, makes it a lot easier with such a big canvas to have it rolled up like this. Now, of course, if I had a double-sided adhesive canvas, I couldn't do this, only pour glue, you can roll it, and it's fine like this. Well, I think technically you could do it with a double side adhesive, but then you're going to be like, you'd probably more than likely have more rivers and stuff in your canvas if you did that to it. So those ones would have to stay flat, in my personal opinion. But any poured glue is perfectly okay to do that. But, um, yeah, I've been really enjoying this Denver Art Club one. The canvas is really nice quality. Um, I really love how... That even though you have it rolled up or you may have it folded for a bit, when you lay it back down and oopsies, I bumped the camera and the camera almost fell. We almost had a big error there, but we're good. Alright. Um, but yeah, that if you just lay it back down just a few minutes later and it's good to go again. So I just gotta tighten my stand. I noticed my canvas was move my uh I think it was moving a bit when I was placing there, so I just got tightened up the stand there, but I think it should be good now. Uh, but I, mean, I love how the canvas did that. I've never had a canvas that does that. It's really a nice feature, too, that the canvas is a nice, soft material. So when I am working on this diamond painting in bed or on the couch or whatever, it's a nice, smooth, that I rub my hand against or is laid out on me, my legs or whatever, depends on how I'm working on it. So that's really nice as well. Uh, kitting up this was really nice and easy because all the labels uh, came on a sticker, which I find right here is a bit of a newer concept. Uh, they weren't always like that, it's just something a little newer that they've been doing the past few months from the Art Club, if I understand. I might be wrong about that, but that's just how I understand it at least. But that was really nice, just 
kitting up this day I'm painting that I had to cut out little labels and just it's already a sticker. I do not have a sticker maker yet where you can take like a piece of paper, inventory sheet, or whatever, and turn it into a sticker. I keep on meaning to purchase one and it just keeps on not happening. <laughs> it's on my to-do list though, so one of these days I will get that and if you watch any of my kidding up videos you will see me use that in the future when I do eventually get a chance to purchase one. And I am... Um, I, I'm not a big fan of the wax. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned that before on my channel here. But I instead I use fun tack. So right now I have a white fun tack that I am using in my pen. You can't really see it because it's white, obviously, but as I find it works a lot better with wax. Uh, when I got the Diamond Eye Crab stuff, I thought I'd give their wax a try, see if it's any different, but I did not find any difference compared to the normal wax I get in my Diamond Painting Kits. So I will continue to use the Fun Tack. I find the Fun Tack works much better, it lasts much longer. I almost, I don't have to replace it really much. Uh, with my placer, but I have to, every once in a while, just move it around a little bit because they're, they're divots, permanent divots form almost because of the placer. Um, but that's not a big deal to me as long as I don't have to replace it as often. Because I hate having to place the wax almost every time I go to dye and paint again, which is like every day basically. That I find to be very annoying. So I really enjoy using Funtac instead of the wax. Um, for anyone out there who is struggling with the wax, I definitely recommend putting using Funtac instead. It works great. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this Diane painting. I really love this artwork. Um, Mandy Mendenz, oh, Mendenz. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, I will put a link in the description to this Diane painting on Diamond Eye Claude. It is Mama Knows Best. And um, I know her artwork is very popular on Diamond Eye Club. Almost every time I'm on there, they almost, they're always, almost always sold out of her artwork so she is a very popular on there I know that I am um, actually just recently um, did a pre-order of um, I believe the painting is called here comes the bride it is based off the character Emily from the movie the corpse bride and I have loved The Corpse Bride since I was, as little. I actually saw the movie The Corpse Bride before I even saw the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas, which I know is kind of backwards, because Nightmare Before Christmas was the one that made it all popular, and The Corpse Bride came after, and it wasn't as popular. But as a kid growing up, I had seen The Corpse Bride, and I didn't actually see The Nightmare Before Christmas until I was older. An adult, basically. So, yeah. <laughs> I love The Corpse Bride for that reason. And I do love Night River for Christmas, don't get me wrong, I really do. I just was, I knew never uh, the Corpse Bride before I knew the Night River for Christmas. There you go, give that a little shake. What actually I've been meaning to look into getting is I only have the standard boats that um, every kit comes with, every dime reading comes with. I do not have any bigger ones. I've been meaning to order one because I hear it's really good, especially when you're working on big paintings and you have a really big block area to do of one color. It's nice for the to be built. Now, I don't know if you can see this on the canvas. May I zoom in a bit so you can see? I, by accident, have gotten. And I have dropped my pen in the process. Sorry guys, it's right over here, so I don't think that's in the lens, no it's not, sorry. I'm... Right about here, can't really see it in the camera, sorry about that, but I had gotten some fun tack actually on the canvas. Now, usually I can get it off, um, but it happens sometimes that it globs on a bit, 
and it's honestly just fine. If this ever happens, don't worry about it, it's just fine. I have diamond painted over that little piece. As long as it's not a ginormous glob of Funtac and it's like just a little, just spread around a little bit, the drills will go over top just fine and you can't even notice really. Or at least with a square painting. I don't know about round. I don't really do many round diamond paintings. I do mostly square. So, I know you can't tell when with the round because the round covers the painting, right? It's the canvas painting itself, and so you can't you don't really have any gapages or anything like that to see anything, but round is a little different. I am not sure. Um, I do know, though, there is a little trick to getting um, stuff off your canvas on, and that is using baby wipes. I have never had that problem to date yet. Like, the only thing I've had is I've gotten fun tack stuck a little bit to the painting itself, like I said. I've never come across a problem yet, I should say, of I've gotten some paper stuck to the painting or whatever. And But I've heard a lot of people on Facebook saying just use some baby wipes and it comes right off, but it doesn't take the glue off. So that is definitely something you can give a try if you get some paper or something stuck to your canvas. There we go. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this painting. I am. Um, I have not been asked to do a review or anything like that. I am just doing this because uh, my own. Because I feel I really do love this company. I've heard great things about it, and the company definitely lives up, so far in my opinion at least, to everything that is said about them. So I definitely give a th two big thumbs up to them because they are a great company. I love all their. Um, just the quality, everything. I really, really love this painting. Um, I have some AB accent drills in this painting, as a lot of their paintings do have AB accent drills. And I love the look, because I don't, I don't think it would look good if everything was an AB, but having accent colors like that just gives it a bit of charcoal and outlines it nicely, and so I really do love the concept of having that outline of AB drills. It is really pretty. Um, this is my first dime painting with them, and my first one happens to be a square, which is what I prefer, which is nice. But the pre-order I did of the Here Comes the Bride is in circle, I know that. So when I do get that one, um, from my here, the, the pre-orders come out in September, is what I understand it. At least the pre-order I made of the Here Comes the Bride comes out in September. And so I won't be until then that I'll be able to obviously unbox that and kit that one up and everything. One thing that is a challenge with the placers sometimes, it doesn't always exactly line up, which does bother me a bit, so I usually a lot of times have to do this, take my pen and just move the drills. Nice thing about pour glue, it's pretty easy to move the drills if you misplay, put a drill in the wrong spot or it's slightly off, I can usually move it without too much difficulty. I do have a hard time though sometimes right on my line because I suction my plastic off. Now I did look into and purchasing those reusable sheets you can use on diamond paintings and they are stuck in the mail unfortunately so I haven't been able to try those out so I am still suctioning off my diamond paintings, at least my diamond paintings that come with uh, these plastic with masking tape. And I just trim off the section I'm going to work on and then I go ahead and work on it. But yeah, so overall, I'd say so far, so good. I am really liking this diamond painting. It's really nice, really enjoyable. I just, actually, I just, I do like it because even though it's such a big painting, the quality is there because it's such a big painting. I had done my, some diamond paintings that I did not enjoy as much because the, it was mainly because I ordered it in too small of a size. And so it was pixelated and it wasn't easy to tell. I ordered a majority of my Diane paintings in a 30 by 40 size. So usually they're pretty good, but the odd one that does have more detail, it'll be okay. It's okay still in a 30 by 40 size, but you will still lose detail. Like, I think I'll pull one out as an example because I have one right here I got not too long ago that. I did order in a 30 by 40 but I'm disappointed because it is pixelated and the body is just not there. So the one I got here is a Demon Slayer. And as you can see the faces are pretty pixelated, it's hard to tell. You can see the basic body shape and you get the basic idea of the picture. So that's why I, that's why I say 30 by 40 is usually um, 
a safe zone almost. So you can get a painting without much detail in it and it'll turn out really good. Or you can do a painting that has more detail in it, but you're not sure how big you need to order. If you order a 30 by 40, I usually see, you can usually tell at least what's going on in the painting. It might still be very pixelated depending on the detail, but it's like a safe middle ground, I find. So, if you're ever wondering about ordering for sizes, now, for Diamond Art Club, they don't come in size choices. It only comes in one size and that's it. But that's because they know what they're doing and they know what looks good and what sizes. So that's why you don't really get to choose. It's just in the one size, that's what it looks good in and that's what you get. But honestly, that's okay, in my opinion. Because you don't have to worry about that. You know it's a good size. You know the detail's going to show up. And yeah. But yeah, so far so good. I am enjoying this quite a bit actually. I will I'm planning to do some more work in progress videos as I get more and more of this paint that I'm painting done. As you can see, I've only completed the first row and started working about I'm about middle way now into my second row. So I still got quite a bit to go because there's a lot of canvas here. It's all rolled up. So but I am excited. I am really enjoying this. The quality is good. Everything is good. I'm just really happy with this painting in a general sense. So, uh, yeah, just, it's good. Yeah. If you have any questions or anything for me, leave some comments in the below. Please ask. I am, I'm not really sure a lot of times what, um, obviously I don't know what you guys are thinking. I don't know if you're, how much you're enjoying your video. I like to think you are enjoying my videos. <laughs> I guess every YouTuber would say that though. <laughs> but if I have any questions about anything, just leave a comment in the below. If you want to see any different types of diamond painting video or any kind of crafty type videos in general, um, let me know and I will do my best to do them uh, for you guys. I like to try new things, so I like to, so I, bleh. I cannot talk, I am sorry, let me restart that. I do like to try new things, but I can't always think of new things to try, so I will take recommendations anytime, and I will do my best to fulfill them for you guys. Um, other than that, thanks for joining me today, I hope you enjoy. Remember to keep tuned for more work in progress on my Mama Knows Best Diamond Painting from Diamond Art Club, and I'll be hopefully get it. Depending on when I post this video, I might be getting my, uh, here comes the red one soon. Who knows? But I will do my best. I'll see you guys all later. Thanks for joining me today. Have a good one. Bye.